Hey everyone, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude here fossil hunting in Cranbrook, British Columbia in Canada and I stopped along a logging road from my last um, fossil hunt in the Devonian Age site. So this is the Browns Cabin or Browns River Cabin site. I can't remember the name of the trail but this site is Cambrian in age so that's 500 million years old and you can find trilobites here. So I've actually already hunted here. I'm packed up and ready to leave, but I forgot to grab a video. So let's quickly see. So there's the butt or head end of a trilobite. It's missing a few pieces. Okay, so let's quickly see if we can spot anything else. Um, so a lot of this is just debris from other fossil hunters who are collecting up top so you'd usually chip away there with a chisel and hammer and a lot of the stuff down here is actually some pretty good material is just remnants from that and I'm not sure if you can find other Cambrian material in this rock such as sponges but I see an awful lot of odd shapes that could or could not be sponges so, I keep them just in case. Um, I know a few trilobite species have been pulled out of this site. Uh, there's a few people that frequent it and find a lot of cool stuff. Let's see if we can find one more trilobite. I keep seeing these segments that look kind of like other arthropods, like maybe a nomocarus. Um, hmm. I will be hitting another site that has trilobites at them. So there's another head of a trilobite. Usually at this site you can find the whole bodies of them. A weird conglomerate. A lot of things look like comprolites, like just mixed body parts of trilobites inside a blob. So there's definitely um, more activity going on at these sites than just trilobites. And what's sad is a lot of soft-bodied organisms, such as stuff you can find at the Burger Shale, uh, do not preserve well. And compared to these um, hard-bodied creatures, the exoskeletons... Oh, there's a perfect trilobite. Let's see. They preserve a lot better. Bingo. So there's the body of a trilobite. Okay, so I'll pick that up. And we'll head out. So yeah, this is a pretty great site. I didn't get to spend a lot of time at it. But I did find some pretty neat specimens and some things some questionable fossils, just blobs, that I'll be looking at back at home under a microscope to see if I see any patterns or things that could point them out as sponges, worms, or other soft-bodied creatures. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll make sure to upload a lot more fossil hunting videos as I make them. This uh, trip's definitely been quite well with a lot of different finds. So if you're just watching this video now and haven't watched any more, definitely check out the rest of my channel. I'll be uploading some fossil hunting trips and sites I've hit around BC and Alberta. Got a beautiful view. Okay, so that concludes my video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.